In this video, I will show you how to install Google Apps on Smartisan forms. First, we will do a factory reset. First, we can change the language to English. After that, we choose Advanced Settings. Then, choose Restore Factory Settings and type your credential and the password. Okay, now choose English, uh, agree the license, uh, skip the file transfer, uh, choose your uh, are a left-handed person or right-handed person. Uh, for me, choose left-handed. And then you can skip the smiley cloud settings and go straight to user interface. Now we click the market and ignore those uh, prompts. Yeah, skip the prompts, don't install these apps. Now you're going to search in the market for a Google installer. Uh, but if you search Google, you will find that these apps, none of these works. Don't install them, they are all Craps. What you need to search is actually in Chinese. I think this is most challenging part for non-Chinese speaking person. So now you need to type G U G E uh, and uh, give it some time. It will prompt you this app. Uh, this app mean, uh, is uh, Google Xiaozaiqi, means Google Service Downloader. And uh, you want to install this. If you install others, none of those work properly. Only this one works. Now you're going to download this app and uh, run this app, install Google Service, and it will Reboot your phone. After reboot, uh, and scroll to last page, and then you will find the Google Play Store, but it's the old version. So basically, you need to open the Google Play Store and uh, in input to your Google account, your Google credential. Um, and then you still need to do some system tweaks or you will not able to make it work properly. Okay, the permission prompts, you just uh, uh, allow or. Uh, for me, I don't need to back up, so I turn off this one. Click next. Uh, allow anything from Google. Once you are in the App Store, now you want to download something to trigger uh, the Google Play service to update because this one is an older version. So I download the Play Games. Uh, when you first time run the Play Games, it should prompt you to update the Google Play service. Unfortunately, you cannot just search the Google Play service in the App Store, so you have to use other app to trigger it. Once I open this one, it will prompt me to update the Google Play service. Uh, once you update, you are good to go. Next is to, finish, uh, to fix the GCM which is a push notification service for Google. So I will download the Google Pin, which is a uh, English and a Chinese keyboard to replace the stock uh, Smartisan keyboard because this keyboard is designed for Chinese. And I will also install a app Skype to test uh, the GCM which uh, if you don't fix GCM, 
you are not able to receive any incoming message like uh, incoming Skype calls or incoming Facebook message or WhatsApp whatsoever. So you have to fix the GCN. Here is the key app Heartbeat Fix for GCN. Install this one. Uh, and uh, you still need to tweak something in the system settings to make it work. Okay, now try to switch the system keyboard. We can enable Google Ping and disable other system built-in keyboards. Uh, select input, choose Chinese Ping, and accept. And uh, you are going to choose the keyboard style and show borders. Uh, for me, I I don't want uh, vibration, so I turn off vibration, and I turn off all the assists for English. Now we can test it. So you can choose different style. If you press this EN, then you switch to English keyboard. If you type that Chinese character Zong, then you will input Chinese. So if you type the EN again, uh, it will let you choose the keyboard style. So you can choose uh, whether a nine key arrangement or a chord one. Uh, same for Chinese. You can, you can even have a uh, writing input. Now let's tweak the system security settings. Since this phone is made for China, so it basically will block uh, any app that uh, is is not a popular app in China and uh, put them into a power saving mode and uh, block incoming transmission so you're going to find a app looks like a blue umbrella it's called phone manager you enter this app now you enter this app and uh, choose the power optimization Uh, when you open this app, you go into the app battery use optimization. Uh, you can just turn this off, or you turn off uh, uh, turn off this feature for individual apps, such like uh, Google Apps. You basically turn uh, this feature off for all the Google Apps especially the framework, the play service uh, for those core apps you need to turn this off and the app you need to receive incoming notification which like uh, Skype, uh, any kind of messenger or and uh, the, uh, the GCM heartbeat fix you also need to turn that thing uh, off and sorry for lack of video for demo this one because I forget to do that. Uh, the voice is dubbed in post production. And now scroll down, you will find a network regulator and click settings. And you basically need to set all the Google apps to never, never disconnect from network. Uh, and the GCM fix uh, also need to set to never and any other uh, app which need incoming transmission will also need to set never like Skype, Outlook or any other messenger apps. Now you go into the permission manager and click third party apps and you need to give permission to all the Google apps, especially for the core apps. And uh, these two permission is crucial. Allow system to launch and allow third party to launch. Uh, if you don't give 
permission to uh, those Google Core apps, you will not receive a incoming notification. Uh, and you also need to give permission to the heartbeat fix for GCM. Basically, you need to give all the permission, especially these two. And you need to give permission to those need to receive the incoming notification, especially for Skype, Outlook, or any other kind of messenger app. Final step is to turn on the heartbeat fixer for GCN. You just click it and turn it on. Uh, leave all the settings to default and that's it